Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and we're taking a look at Zotac's 2018 line of mini computers. And when I say mini, the smallest models are really pretty tiny. So let's take a look here at the new Pico PI226, which is uh, almost a credit card size computer. This is actually the second version in this form factor that Zotac has put out. The previous version had an Intel Apollo Lake processor. This version has a Gemini Lake chip for a little bit more performance. It's got a uh, Celeron N4000. Uh, dual core processor, 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage, a micro USB port on one side, which is basically just for power, and on the other side, two USB uh, type C ports. And you can use those uh, to connect all sorts of different peripherals, including displays. So, what we've got here are actually uh, two displays being powered by that computer and two from a different computer. And this is actually the Apollo Lake version that we're looking at here. So the Gemini Lake version, again, is capable of a little bit uh, uh, higher output. So uh, you can power multiple displays, you can plug in a USB hub, you can do whatever you need to do. But then you've also got a computer that's basically small enough to slide into your pocket and uh, take from place to place. Now, by comparison, the Pico PI3 36 is huge, but it's still a pretty tiny little computer. This model has a quad-core Celeron N4000 Gemini Lake processor, and it's got more room for ports. So we've got a uh, sort of weird lighting effect here, but we've got two full-size USB ports on this side, a uh, dedicated power jack, display port, and HDMI headset jack, and USB 3.0 Type-C, as well as Ethernet uh, power button on the other side. And again, pretty much small enough to fit into a pocket. It's thicker than a phone, but size-wise it's actually pretty uh, phone-like. Um, moving up here in terms of sort of sizes, we've got the MI660 and 640 Nano. These are available with 15-watt uh, quad-core 8th generation processors. So we've got the uh, uh, um, Core i5-8250 or Core i7-8550. And we've got plenty of room for additional ports on this model, but it's still pretty compact. It's sort of similar in size to what you would expect from an Intel Nook-style computer. So if we take a look at the ports, we've got um, USB 3.0, USB 3.1 Type-C, two of them, separate mic and headset, full-size SD card slot, antenna, dual Ethernet, display port, HDMI, more USB ports, and power. So that is a pretty compact machine. You get a little bit larger if you want something that is fanless. And so we're seeing updates in the C-series of fanless devices. A little bit larger and a little bit lower power in terms of the processors, but completely silent operation because there is passive cooling and no fan inside the case. So what we're seeing here is a version that's a little bit older that has an Apollo Lake processor and an identical frame uh, for a version which is also silent but has the same Celeron N4100 uh, uh, quad-core processor as this model. Model. Um, so these guys have similar ports to what you see on the models without the fans, uh, but it's got a passive heat sink, it's got plenty of ventilation, and uh, we've got a VGA port on this model as well as HDMI and display port. So that's the CI327 and CI329 Nano. Moving over here, we've actually got a next generation of C-Series. It's a larger uh, device that can support up to a 15-watt quad-core 8th generation Intel processor. So you can get up to a Core i7. It's going to basically have the same processor that we see in this model, but um, in a sort of larger, passively cooled case. So let's take a quick look around this case because it is brand new from Zotac. Uh, it's unclear uh, what the price or the um, release date is, but generally speaking, I'm told that most of these new devices should be available in spring of 2018. So we've got dual Ethernet, DisplayPort, HDMI, USB, actually, no, that's not USB C, um, USB 3.0. Over SD card slot, USB 3.1 Type C, USB, and um, headset jacks. Uh, just to compare again, sizes. What we're looking at here is something that is substantially larger, but still relatively small for a desktop computer. So this this, this computer is a whole computer in a backpack. Yeah. So you can move around with it. Here, take a picture of me over here, Anthony. So those are sort of some of your size differences. Uh, now something else that's new here is the Zotac MA551, 
which is powered by an AMD AM4 socketed uh, processor. Haven't gotten a lot of specifics on this model and picking it up, I think it's empty. <laughs> it feels like pretty much just the case here, but just to show what it looks like, it's supposed to support up to a 65 watt uh, Intel or AMD APU. So you're gonna get um, uh, AMD's Ryzen class uh, graphics. We've got multiple display connections, ethernet, USB ports, and discrete uh, or in a dedicated antenna. So that's the MA551, which is a relatively new form factor. Now, moving up here, we've got the Magnus Gaming Liner devices, which we're starting to stretch the definition of the word compact by tower PCs, and by gaming PC standards, they're pretty small, but they're significantly larger than some of the other mini PCs. So let's just take a quick run through. What we've got here is an older model that has a uh, GeForce 1080 processor and last year's uh, quad-core um, i7-7700 uh, processor, but we've also got versions available with Ryzen processors, and if you uh, come on over here real quick, you can see that we've got a new version that has an 8th generation Intel processor. So this version actually has the core i7-8700 uh, Coffee Lake chip and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 graphics. So it's set up to do complete uh, virtual reality gaming and uh, it's basically a, a compact box where you can uh, upgrade some of the components yourself but it's going to be significantly smaller than your typical gaming PC. Um, finally, I'm just going to take a quick look over here at the new workstation uh, line of devices. These are uh, Zotac's first devices that have Quadro, NVIDIA Quadro graphics. So we've got versions available with uh, Quadro P1000, P3000, and P5000, and their uh, workstation are uh, writing PCs with uh, Intel Core i5 7500T uh, processors for the most part. So these are um, a little bit more business-like in terms of sort of design. Uh, this version actually is um, pretty sort of classic for, uh, for NVIDIA. Um, that's just a quick overview of those. And then finally we've got the latest version of the Zotac VR Go gaming laptop or backpack. So you can actually strap this whole thing to your back and it's basically got the guts of a uh, gaming PC plus batteries allowing you to uh, hook up your Oculus Rift or HTC Vive or whatever it is that you've got, uh, wear it with you and not have to trip over the wires. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see sort of in the lighting here, but there's the room for the battery and that's sort of the general design. So that's a quick look again at all of the new systems coming from Zotac a couple that are already here, but basically most of these are going to be available in spring, pricing to be announced. Going from the smallest to sort of larger gaming style devices. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.